Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jellen. We have a really hard problem today. We've been talking about automatic subtotals lately, and today our manager wants us to add a blank row after every subtotal. I mean, it's a really common request, but it's really hard to do. Uh, my first trick is we're going to collapse things down to show just the subtotals, select those rows, and then use the Alt semicolon trick to select visible cells only. And then we can use Format Row Height to make the row double high. Click OK, and then select all of the cells. And from Format Cells, choose Vertical Alignment to the top. Click OK, and then when we print the report, it will appear as though we've added blank rows between. Now this isn't going to work if we actually have to send the report to the manager because you'll see that we really cheated. So now, follow along here. This is really wild. I have another set of subtotals. Again, I'm going to collapse to see just the subtotals by rep. Select all of those cells and make sure to hit Alt semicolon to select just the visible cells. Now I'm going to do one and Control Enter to put a one on all the subtotal rows. Let's see what that looks like. When I go back to the three view, sure enough, we do have a one next to every subtotal. Now what I need to do is go down one row. So I'm going to use Control X to cut down and paste which now gets a one on the first row of every group. Now, last thing, edit, go to, special, choose the constants, which will select just those cells, and now insert row, and we have successfully added a new row after every subtotal. Really hard to do. Probably have to watch this one twice if this is something you need to do. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you tomorrow for another podcast from Mr. Excel.